what is up beautiful people it's your girl Kayla back in another video and today we're gonna do some face shaving so I have been shaving my own face for quite some time now um you're probably wondering the first time I've ever done it the very first time I remember I was like in middle school and I was hanging out with a new friend now she has been my long life best friend and her older sister and they were just saying like pointing out I feel like all my freaking insecurities like saying how beautiful I was but girl you need this and this is done okay so they shaved part of my face and I showed my mom my mom she's like why'd you do that you got to keep that up now da 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 and uh, when my hair did grow back or when it does grow back currently it does not grow back thicker like everyone is I feel like ask me those questions and it honestly doesn't to be honest like it's just like baby hair definitely recommend it so let's stay tuned and let's show you what we're about to get into you know it would be nice if I had a hair tie I found it <laughs> so I'm gonna put my hair back as we get started and I kind of don't care what my hair looks like and you guys can get a close-up of what my face looks like I'm kind of breaking out a little. I know there's some right here. Um, I, I go like literally all over my face when I do this. And this is not a hickey. Everyone thinks it's a hickey, but I burned myself from curling my hair. You think I'd be a pro at 24, but I'm not a pro at curling my own hair. So to get started, we need to make sure that our face is clean. So I have some makeup wipes. My mom got these in the dollar store. You know, my mama does couponing. I have yet to do a video of that with her. But that's in the works because me being crippled right now and uh, yeah, I can't do much. So any type of makeup wipes would work. So let's just clean the face. And you don't have to use makeup wipes. You can use like your daily um, face wash or whatever you use morning, night, whatever is best for you. You just want to make sure you have a clean surface. And I'm not an esthetician by any means. I do have a handful of friends that are estheticians. So if you don't feel comfortable like doing this on your own yet and you want to have someone who's more experienced in this field and knows exactly like what they're doing because you might be scared like to cut yourself or something, um, I can definitely give you some information about them and other information would be down in the description below for you guys. Okay. So we kind of already looked around my face. I, this is like the one side I know that gets a little bit more fuzzy. Um, but other than that, I typically do this like maybe once a week to maybe every two weeks. It kind of varies. We will be using this little thing. I call it a little razor for the face. And um, you can get this anywhere. You can get this from Dollar Store, the hair store, Sally's. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure if you get it like at any other store, you can get it in a package. Um, but I get mine from the hair store. I was like from the wig store and those are like 99 cents. So you want to hold your skin taut. Like you want to keep it still. And uh, my razor is not that bad. But I probably do need to eventually get a new one. And you don't have to push hard on your skin. So you just want to be very gentle. And I can see like some stuff coming down like fuzzes. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm just holding my skin taut. Oh, you see some dead skin right there. But you really need to be careful like around here because this is like, you know, your eyes. When you do it, you want to go down. It's like how I was doing up here. Oh my gosh, I already feel the great sensation of baby boom skin. So. And I kind of go sideways too and I go down. When I do like this part of my cheek. 
I don't think like I'm super hairy, but I just like to keep up with this. This is mostly pretty clean, I guess, because, you know, I, I do this periodically. Okay, so since I'm done filling out my face, I do want to go over it again with another baby wipe. Um, you should know, just clean it once again. You don't want to have, like, random baby hairs all over your face, you know, floating and whatnot. Now, after this, you definitely want to moisturize your face, you know, to give that more glowy look that you are looking for. So I'm going to, like, kind of air this out, and I'm going to show you a few of the things that I do use. Um, I don't use it, like, you know, every day, but sometimes it's, like, one of them. Sometimes I use all of them, so I'm going to show you guys those products. And I'm not sponsored by any of these things, like, by any means. I'm just showing you what I use and um, you can use things similar or find brands that work for you. Garnier Skin Care Gel is supposed to hydrate the face. And um, when you do use a gel, um, you don't need to put like a lot on your face. And I learned this from one of my friends, Cameron. She's an esthetician. And she, um, I do have different type of gels for my face for hydrating my face. But she told me that I do not need to put a lot on my face. So um, I don't remember how much. I think maybe like maybe a pinky's worth and then maybe like this much and like you just want to like dab it on and this is all like what you need and this is like for normal to combination skin and depending like on the weather you know every um person's like skin is different so I definitely do have normal to combination and like it varies to oily skin too and when you rub this in you want to make sure you're going in upward motion and not downward because we want to make you look younger not older so you want to you know make it go out give you that younger looking beautiful skin And so that's just one of the gel serums like I use. Another one is a grapefruit, um, and that's by Eminence. I don't have it right here with me. It's actually on my makeup shelf. So I have that all rubbed in. Um, so another hydrating thing, not a thing, product I use is going to be um, the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Milk Mask. It's supposed to soften and restore skin. And so, um, if I'm definitely not using like a hydrating gel for my face after I do this or after I shower, I'm definitely going to use this so my face is basically hydrated and moisturized after um, I shower so it doesn't dry out. And I mean, you don't have to use that much, but that's how much I use. And just rub it in and it smells really lovely like coconut like shea just moisture like always smell great and since like you did like just open your pores a little um you're gonna feel like a slight like little sting but nothing like you know major like oh my gosh and you will be a little bit red after this all right, so this is a final look after doing my own drama plane at home. Hopefully by you guys watching this video, I've made this simple and easy for you to do by yourself. Other than that, if you have any comments or concerns, please leave a comment below and please like and subscribe to your girl.